Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So today's Friday's video is I'm um, using the kit that I got for October from scrapbookingwithme.com. I'm making another set of cards. We're going to use this Mojo Monday uh, sketch right here. And there's no measurements on here, so I did have to do a little figuring out. And I'm going to explain briefly as I put it together how we go about doing that. The first thing I do when I look at a card is I already know I'm doing an A2 size card. So I know it's going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. Now, what I decided to do was start with stamping my leaf image, which is going to be the light tan color, like the largest square right up on the top where the Mojo Monday is sitting. So what I did is I measured and cut multiple times trying to get the perfect size that I knew would fit my leaf and match the sketch as as much as possible. The piece that's underneath the Mojo Monday, the reddish color that's coming in a little bit, on that one I measured, I think I wound up making it like two and three fourths by three inches or something like that. And um, I decided to put a mat under it. So my mat, I went to two and seven eighths by three and I said three and a quarter. So it'd be like three and three eighths, something like that. Um, just so that there was a smaller border around that section, but everything else, I wanted you to see the pattern paper kind of peeking out. So I did make the, uh, the mat a little bit bigger. And I'll talk about that as we continue on. I'm just cleaning off the stamp real quick. Um, that's the solid part that I put down first. And now we're going to ink up with the first eclair um, and finish off our stamping of the leaf. Okay. Now the strip down at the bottom, I wind up making mine a little bit bigger than obviously they're showing it on the sketch I was guessing the sketch was probably like a half an inch for the light color and then probably like an eighth of an inch around it well I kind of did the sentiment I used one of the ones that I already have pre-cut out and then I added a white mat and a pattern paper mat so it wound up being a lot thicker than what they're showing on the sketch itself and by doing so, I don't have a lot of space in between my focal image and where my sentiment is, but I'm not mad at that. Um, I'm okay with how that turns out, so I, I just kept it and we'll, I'll show you more as we get it put together. So this particular paper, uh, I was putting down for my mat, I'm doing something different. Instead of doing a solid piece, I wanted to use a pattern paper. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm fighting off a sinus cold, so bear with me, you guys. Um, but I realized that it, it was just slightly too big. So I trimmed and then um, cut off a little bit of the extra with uh, my snips. And then I'm just using my ATG tape and the art glitter glue. If you hear ice in the background, that's just my family getting ice from the refrigerator. <laughs> Which can be rather loud at times. All right, so once I got that kind of centered as best as I could, I'm going to put the um, pattern paper on top, which is going to be four by five inches. And I always know what my base is going to be. That's usually what my base is going to set out. It's the mat and a solid piece. And then I build up my sketch from there. So the this is the part that's going to be underneath our focal image. And you can see I'm just using the flip side of the leaf pattern paper that we put down as our base. And on my first test, my tester card, um, I had this piece a little bit further down than I wanted. So I knew I, I needed to pull it up just a little bit more. So it's probably like a little bit higher, but if I hadn't, like my, my center focal image of the leaf would have actually gone over top of my sentiment. So I'm glad I, I moved this one up. Um, for this particular piece, once I had them attached, um, I knew I was going to use the foam tape to give it some added dimension. 
And whatever foam tape I have left over, I'm going to put on the back side of my sentiment layers. So that way I can um, get these set up and ready to go and finish putting this card together. Which once you start, you kind of figure out the sizes, it did come together pretty good. Um, or pretty fast. <laughs> pretty good, Lord. That didn't feel right. Okay, so I'm laying down that image, and I love this leaf. I know you guys see it a lot, but I can't explain to you how much I love it. Ugh, it's like one of my favorite stamps I ever got, <laughs> especially for fall. So now I'm going to start doing my layers. So the top sentiment piece, um, which it says Bountiful Blessings, I'm going to attach that to um, the white mat that I had picked for it initially and since my paper was so light that's why I decided to put it on top of that same like plaid pattern but like I said in doing so it also made it where there's not a whole lot of space between my sentiment and the image itself and I really don't it doesn't bother me at all it really doesn't and of course we got to get hit it with the Nouveau drop. So my initial reaction, I was going to do two of the Nouveau drops um, and call it a day. Like, you know, sometimes you don't always have to do three. But on this one, because of the pattern inside, you know, the leaves and stuff, it was blending in. And to me, it looked better once I added that last one. But I made them a little bit bigger than the other two, which kind of works. Only one of them was I off just slightly, but I'm okay with that. That's one of the benefits of getting a handmade card. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining me today. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And down in the more section, I will have links to all of scrapbookingwithme.com um, and their social medias, including Facebook and Instagram. And um, if you go over to scrapbookingwithme.com and decide to make a purchase, if you use my coupon code TT15, that'll give you an extra 15% off on all items that are not already marked down. So definitely go over there. I know, I think she still has a few of the goodie boxes where you get like $50 worth of uh, merchandise inside these boxes for like 30 bucks which isn't a bad deal. So definitely go over there and check that stuff out, okay, you guys? And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks again.